went on a date. Everything was great. Didn't try and kiss me, nothing. And then as he's walking me back to my car, he says, by the way, you want to come over? I'm like, that threw me off because that's telling me that you want that one thing. That would throw me off. It's telling me that, so you, that you want one thing. So you think there should have been thing. an intermediary step? I don't think he should have asked me to come over at all. I think he just should have ended the night and asked me to hang out again. Yes. That is I something agree. that I So that turned sense. you off? That you I yes. haven't talked to him since. I would not. That's so creepy. It was not even escalating yeah. during the date. They didn't touch her or anything. And mm -hmm. now he's like, you have to have a reason to invite her. <laughs> over. I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. Come I, on. I, it's not the smoothest way to it do it. It doesn't feel good. That's it just turns sure. me off. It's like, I feel like you just want to sleep with me. And then, so I'm just like, no, I'm just going to like move on. Yeah. But mm -hmm. all guys want to sleep with you. Yeah. He, but he, he made it he, obvious. Yeah, you can't make it so, obvious. So, see, so, this is that's this that's is the picky that, part that you're what, talking that's about. What I'm, exactly. Yeah. So all it's guys, like it's what, all about how you move. I feel like. What if that guy was a great guy? Why? Because he just was the one who he wanted to attempt sex. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's just it's that, the way he went about it. It just completely turned me off. I it just made me not even interested. I think interested. that's one of the things that might be keeping you single. Those little you moments. So? Yes, I think so. That I feel like I feel like baby. other females would tell me that yeah. I I was oh good for God, walking away so because the guy you... wants to have sex. They well, all do. We all want. But then, to have if I were to go, okay, then, it's, then it's about his rebound. Then wait, how wait, you come no, back? Wait, I have to say something because nothing what you said was creepy to me. It wasn't like it wasn't he creepy. Was it was uncomfortable. It's not creepy. It's just od. It's just yeah. too much. Like end the night. It's way. That. It's too much. So like, let's say relax. Let her go ahead. We have one more thing to say. So let's say for example, I did go over to his place. And then I clearly in my head didn't want to sleep with him. What if he tried? Then that makes me so uncomfortable. And then I have to be like, right, I'm not sleeping with you. And then that just makes it even weirder. So I'd rather just end it before even going over there. This if that's what, not what is, my intention well, was. This is you, all, listen, you don't this have is to go, so yeah. circle. Have to this go is over yeah. there. Gentlemen, this yeah. is what I'm talking about. Gentlemen. Yes. Old school shit. Yes. So you've never had sex with a guy on a first date? Yes, I have. But that's when so, I was younger. That's not what I'm looking for now. Are they still around? It doesn't matter. No, no. That's not what I'm looking for now. And maybe that's Easy. what she wanted then. What? I know where you're going to go. <laughs> where do you think I'm going to go? You're going to ask, well, if you were willing to do it with the men before type of a thing. like going. You know what I think? I think that there was something about this guy you didn't like before that happened. I don't think everything was going really well up to that point. I think at that point you were maybe on the fence or something else was off or you weren't sure about him. He did that and that was... Like gave me an ick, you mean? I, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I think that there was something else. The problem there. with that though is that that's a first date, right? So it's already kind of awkward. You're already not at your best. You're already not opening up. You're already not at your best personality, your best swag, or whatever you want yeah. to call it, right? So he could have had a second chance to be better, and now he just—I mean, if yeah. he rebounds that well and he says, you know, my apologies, that wasn't—that's on me. Let's go out friday like what are you doing i'm gonna make us reservation here like let's just move like move forward you know like either oh, yeah, move forward really rebound funny. well yeah or just dead it i think one of the problems that we tell women though in terms of dating is either you're being told to just sleep with the guy whenever you want or you're being told hold out because mm -hmm. you don't want him to think you're a hoe i'm telling you right now it doesn't matter which of those you pick you determine if that guy treats you as a hoe so if you fuck him on the I first day that. but you have a lot of qualities that are really like they match with the guy a lot he's not going to treat you that way if you call him after you fuck him he's not going to treat you that way because you're putting in that effort he like guys he will if you fuck him there's that too there's that i mean i don't know that I feel like I'm more inexperienced when it comes to it. I get really uncomfortable talking about sex. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. But my point is like, there's a lot of girls I know and a lot of girls I've talked to who are like, I don't want him to see me as a hoe. And I'm like, you could have fucked him like two hours prior. He's only going to think you're a hoe if you move like a hoe. So right. as long as you show interest after, typically that actually works in your favor. But it's very like slippery slope. In my opinion, I think that problem is that guys don't know how to escalate properly i agree okay? with you and uh, yeah but on the flip side i think that women should be aware of this instead of setting that expectation you know as long yeah. as they're aware of it then they can cut him some slack and maybe even talk to him about it. Not, not not about escalation but like <laughs> hey you know honestly i feel a little uncomfortable or you know just have that discourse of the conversation in general i think it's a matter of that so guys do have to learn how to do it, how to escalate tactfully. However, if you're a guy who has insane status or value, at that point, the woman's so attracted that I think that it wouldn't even matter at that point. Okay. So I think it's like a combination of being tactful, but also if you've built enough attraction, 
and she's super into you, she's probably yeah. just going to sleep with you. And she wouldn't have said what story said of he asked me to come. Like how many times has that happened where a guy just goes, hey, want to come back to my place? And it just does. Right. Again, I, I'm taking your word for it in, in terms of him doing it in a very kind of bland, generic, non creepy way. You interpret it yeah. as creepy, I think, maybe because you weren't so into the guy. But I don't know. You tell me. I mean, it wasn't creepy. It was, I'll tell you verbatim. So we were walking back from the restaurant, and he had eaten an edible that night. So we asked, do you want to come back to my house and eat an edible? <laughs> but it was just very... Uh, that's not a bad excuse, I guess. Just so from if, me If he knows that you're into edibles. I can just tell you from me being in that situation, it, he made it very clear. Like, I could just tell what his intentions were. Like, we started drinking. The more the conversation went on, it started to get more sexual. The conversation was... He started asking certain questions, and then at the end of the night, he says, do you want to come home? I knew exactly what it was, and I wasn't for it. So was that interaction really awkward, like the where he was trying to escalate with the sexual stuff? It was a little bit. I mean, it wasn't uncomfortable. I was fine talking about it, but for me, it's too soon. Like a first day, I yeah. just meet you, and you're asking me like certain things about the bedroom. I'm like, Do you think it no. showcases that he has experience or no experience? I think when guys talk about sex, too. Like experience with like sleeping with women? Yeah. Mm. It's like, oh, what's your favorite position? I feel like that right away <laughs> tells so me weird. that. Yeah, you it wasn't. Fun. It wasn't that. It wasn't that generic. It, but it, that can work. But that can't. I don't be the, know. That can't be know. the first thing to break the barrier of we're talking about sex. You'd be surprised about what? What men? How men break the ice? Oh no, I believe you. Yeah. I believe you. I'm sure. So, that, oh, yeah. I can tell you what happened. So, I, um, I said basically for the day, he asked me what I want to do, and I said I'm down for anything. And I've heard that. I guess that's not the best thing to say, but obviously, I just mean like I'm down for you know, whatever, like dinner, mini golf, like whatever. And then when he started drinking, he asked me, so what does it mean when you say you're down for whatever? And that's when he started. I'm like, come on, man. It's cheeky. <laughs> like, come on. It's cheeky. 